Hello and welcome to The Slice. My name is Michael and today I have my number one fan. And I'm sure she doesn't mind me saying that she is my number one fan. We have Kay, who is one of my clients, who has been on my Filming with Smartphones course. How are you, Kay? I'm absolutely well, thank you. And how nervous are you on a scale of one to ten? Um, I would say a nine. <laughs> a nine? Oh, we need to get that number down, a nine. don't we? we need to, you're, not giving, you're not selling my course very well here, I'll be completely honest. <laughs> Uh, no, I think a couple of months ago you would never have even done this, would you? So, no, yeah, so you've, 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 yeah, I think you've been a bit too hard on yourself there, aren't you? I think so, yeah. So, do you know how the slice works? Um, slightly. Slightly. So, you get a 10 minute timer. <laughs> you uh, do get a 10 minute timer, you yeah. Get a, you get a 10 minute timer to talk about all things video and where you are with video uh, and how you feel about video. How does that sound? That sounds perfect, yeah. Then let's do it. So are you ready for me to start the timer? Yep. There we go. The timer has started. So Kay, for those that don't know who you are, who are you and what do you do? Um, basically, I am Michael's number one fan, as he says. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> um, I'm just basically learning how to do Reiki and spiritual healing, all that kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. um, complementary therapies. So I am learning and training. Yeah. So what got you into that? Where, where did that all start? What made you think that's what I want to do with my life? Um, because of my mental health. Mm -hmm. um, mental health is so important. Mm -hmm. And um, it was through, because of loss of life, I ended up having mental illness. And I needed to find something instead of antidepressants, how to, to maintain it. Mm -hmm. And it is, isn't it? I think in today's world, it's very important to talk and be open about it. Um, I think we, you know, you've you've been there for me when I felt a little bit down um, and things like that. And I think it's, you know, a couple of years ago, nobody would have would have even spoken about, um, you know, mental health. And no. I suppose now, do you know, obviously it's it's a lot. Um, it's 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 a bigger thing we talk about it more and there's a lot more help out there for people who are struggling yep that's it there is a lot mm. and so so Kay tell me how are you doing with the Reiki so you've you've obviously gone down this new path of yours how are you finding that transition um, I'm finding it absolutely wonderful, actually. It's helping me absolutely loads. Mm -hmm. um, also, I am doing courses, so I'll be able to do it on other people as well. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I'll be having my own business uh -huh. on doing other people. Um, and that's what I want to do. Um, it's not just that either, because the videos as well, I do with vlogging, mm -hmm. um, which is like when I go kayaking. And now I would never have kayaked in my life. <laughs> like two years ago no way but I am doing it so mm. it's you know it's put a nice lease of life this Reiki yeah towards me so yeah I and, and I think since I've known you you've definitely um flourished and and you know uh you've blossomed Kay I think is uh the best way to put Thank it you. um and and so do you know what it's funny you came on my filming with smartphones course um yeah. was it about two months ago was it two months ago yeah yeah, it was about, I think it was in December, wasn't it? I think mm. it was about December time. Are you a bit hesitant at first, weren't you? I was, I was, mm. but now I'm so glad I did it. Can't shut so you up now. Glad. You can't, no. But you couldn't before, like, but on, on video, you can't. <laughs> well, we've unleashed the beast, haven't we? You certainly have. There you go. So <laughs> in terms of where you've been at, I mean, you've been posting loads of video in my private um, Facebook group. Uh, yeah. And you've been obviously interacting with a lot of other people as well that are also on uh, their video journey. What kind of advice yeah. would you give to anybody who potentially was in your position a couple of months ago where you didn't want, you, you wanted to do video, but you, you were scared to do it because you didn't know where, where to take it? Um, what would you say to people now you've been on the course and where you're at now? I would say just do it. Just bite the bullet and go for it. it mm. There's nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, you're talking about, um, I had zero confidence in videoing, zero mm. confidence. And now I can't stop it. So, 
you know, it just works. It proves it proves a point. And also, I'm getting interactive more with mm -hmm. my friends through video. Yeah. You know, I'm doing um, what videos on Zoom um on meditation and things like that you know so, so do you do you think you will incorporate uh, video into your business and have that maybe as yes. more of a passive income so you would you be Absolutely. thinking of maybe filming online courses and then people can pay to to kind of do sessions and stuff online yep that's exactly what i'm thinking of doing there you go you yeah. see as you well as think... me raking you just need to get yourself a good videographer guy that can help you and steer you in the right way, uh, like a young Padawan. Um, and I will be your Yoda. Um, and yeah, no, I, I definitely think you've def from, from a from a teaching point of view, you've definitely come a long way. And I think your personality has come out more. I mean, you've got a, a lovely personality. Uh, you've always been supportive uh, for, for, for me. Uh, and sometimes I don't deserve a friend like you. Um, but you are, you are a very passionate, loving person. And when you actually start to see that personality, when we start to see that in video, um, people start to go, oh, she's actually lovely. She's just not off her, off her head uh, and crazy and, and loud. She's actually this <laughs> lovable, caring person that everybody, you know, she'll do anything for anybody. So you know, being able to break down those boundaries, have you found that, because obviously you've been doing your vlogging, how have you found that that has made uh, an impact in people around you? Uh, it's made an absolute massive impact, actually, mm. because it's helping. I mean, I like to help people, as you know. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of um, like on Facebook and things like that. I come across that way, especially in video. Mm -hmm. in video it's a definite and I always get interactive with people on video always so yeah it's a great thing yeah and um, what was the one thing from the course that you really took away from and, and saw a massive change once you started implementing it the lighting that mm -hmm. the lighting was the definite yeah, yeah. definite was the lighting and the sound as well yeah because you're um, coming across very well right now Thank you. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and we can hear you very beautifully. Um, in terms of obviously how you uh, create content and how you actually um, sit there before you make a video, how have you found that process of the planning stages before you create a video? How have you found that has changed? That has changed quite a lot because I actually write it down as well and mm -hmm. I kind of memorise it and then I go where we, that the lighting bit is where my me, um, me, uh, window is. So there's a lot of light coming through. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just spiel it, just continuous go on it. So. so I'm going to test you now. I'm going to say, are you using natural light or artificial light? Both. Okay. So explain that to me. Well, normally the, the lights that I've got are normally the calming lights around mm -hmm. me. I've yep. got them, but the window and the blinds are well open and it's towards me. There you go. There you go. So, so yeah, so you're definitely using different aspects of it. And obviously that creative side as well gives you, I've always found that when you are creative, uh, when you are doing a creative um, project, um, you you your brain starts to think in different ways, different ways that you probably would never have thought before. Um, how have you found um have you found that when you've created content, when you've had an understanding of the filming process, have you found it a lot easier to just sit and write something and just get it straight out? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Because if you're writing it down um, and you, like I've said, you're memorizing it, it, it just, you just met, you, you just um, talk, you, you just carry on with it. And you're very good at talking. Um, <laughs> but how, have you found, I mean that in a loving way, uh, have you found that obviously um, there is, you've got to have that fine line. You've got to understand that although you can talk for England and I can talk for England, do you ever find yourself in your mind going, all right, keep to the facts, keep it short, make it as yeah. long as it needs to be, but as short as possible. <laughs> have you implemented that rule? Yes, I've had to. <laughs> yeah, You've had to? Yeah, yeah, you just to. have to rein it in a little bit. 
because <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. that's that's probably the one thing I think you've walked away with uh, is the ability to uh, to just cover what needs to be covered because I think a lot of people forget that you are asking for people's time uh, and so you know when you're you know I can do it I waffle and waffle and waffle and then I look and go wow that's an eight minute video and I could have got that down in four minutes and I think sometimes yeah. short and sweet is always better. Um, so we are in the last minute and now we can see the clock on the screen. We were more mindful of the time. So it won't be jumping out and scare me. Uh, <laughs> final thought then. So it, how, how do you feel video has changed your life? It's changed it quite dramatically, actually. Um, it's the best thing I've ever done. Mm-hmm. Um, never, I'm not a- apart from meeting me, obviously. <laughs> come on, Kay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you are the best videographer there is You're oh I definitely... don't know I'm, I'm I'm not I appreciate you saying that but I'm, I'm absolutely not there's a lot of videographers out there that I watch and go wow I wish I was as good as that person so but no I I, I appreciate your kind words it's very uh very nice um <laughs> but 19 seconds um do you think that you will continue video do you think it is now here to stay in your life absolutely definitely yeah I'm not turning back anymore. That's it now. You sure? Absolutely positive. Wow. Because of your help. <laughs> well, my pleasure. And there you go. Your timer has done. That is the end of your interview. How did you find it? Not as scary as I thought. There you go. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't lie to people when I say the slice is, is not scary. It is not scary. Um, have you enjoyed being on the show today? I have. Um, thank you very much for My inviting pleasure. me. My pleasure. Well, you are more than welcome to come back in the future and maybe actually find out where you're at uh, in a couple of months' time and maybe come back on the show okay. and have a little talk. So thank you so much for being on the show. If anybody would like to watch any previous episodes, you can head over to youtube.com forward slash Take the Cake Pro if you haven't um, clicked the bell uh, and seen when I post all my latest videos, then don't forget to do that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.